Hey everyone, Dr. Grant Bishop, Change the Game PT. Want to talk to you today about Will Zalatoris. You know, what's happened to Will Zalatoris with his low back? He had a withdrawal from the BMW Championship. He has to withdraw from the, the Tour Championship. He's going to like that to withdraw from the Presidents as well. But, you know, well, what, what's going on? Why, why did disc injuries happen? How common are they? Um, do you need surgery? Uh, what's the first steps when you have it? What, what are some things that you can do to avoid it? Is it something that I have if I have back pain? Those are some things I'm gonna talk about and go over here with you. Just because you have back pain does not mean that you have a disc issue. It does not mean that you have sciatica. It does not mean that you need surgery. Majority of people are gonna have back pain in their life. Really 90% of people are gonna have it at some point. And if you're a golfer, you're gonna have it, more than likely, especially if you have tight hips, tight shoulders, tight necks, and a tight spine. Your incidence of it happening is a lot higher. The number one predictor is actually limited hip mobility. If you're not able to rotate the hip or if you feel like you got tight and stiff hips, you need to go get that checked out. You know, give us a call. Uh, we'd love to help you with that and talk you through that. But, you know, low back pain does not mean it's the end of the world. It can be fixed, it can be prevented. And it can be um, something that you can, you know, if you, when you do have it, you can get through it pretty quickly. You know, it doesn't have to stop you from playing the, the game that you love. It doesn't have to stop you from doing the things that you want to do, but you got to understand what's going on. So in the case of Will, it's likely the result of too much golf, way too much golf. And at that level, he's 26 years old, guys. He's 26 and he's having these back issues. He's been playing golf a long time, you know, really dialing in his game as of late, done really well this past year. Now, why does too much golf potentially lead to a herniated disc issue in the back? It's the constant breakdown of, or the constant stresses that are put on the annulus fibrosis and the nucleus pulposus. These are the structures in the disc that we're really gonna be talking about. And the, the more repetition, the more volume and the velocity, the speed in which you rotate over and over and over again, it can lead to breakdown of those fibers and those tissues to such that they herniate. Um, and as a result, it, if it puts some compression or pressure on a nerve, it can cause really bad leg pain, uh, numbness and tingling and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't, I don't know what Will has specifically, but what about, uh, you know, does it need surgery? No, most herniated discs don't need surgery. What you need to do is not rest either. Rest is not going to help. Now rest from golfing and stuff like that will help, but rest like bed rest and doing nothing, don't do that. That's gonna set you up for a really long recovery. We don't want that. What you need is therapeutic exercises specific that help you decrease your pain, but also can help improve your mobility and your strength at a, at a light or lower level for the hips, for the spine, for the core, you know, breathing related stuff, especially if you're in pain, we get short of breath, right? Short, shallow breathing. With all those things, you progress, you make progress. And eventually, you know, after a couple of weeks or a month or so, you're gonna be back at it. You know, with the right therapy, Will should be back at it pretty quickly. Um, unless it's really, really, really severe. And that's really rare. Very few cases of herniated discs actually require surgery. The cases that do are when they cause excruciating pain that nothing is helping over a really long time, months and months and months and months. Surgery might help. It's not the go-to thing, it shouldn't be at least. I'm a physical therapist and I do see the result of people getting back fusions and back surgeries and you know, they're getting better as uh, technology is, advan is, is advancing, but if you can avoid it, you want to avoid it. Um, but with that being said, very few cases actually need to have surgery. The really severe ones also are the ones that you lose bowel and bladder function. You need to go, you know, go to the ER if that's the case and you're having really bad back pain with that as well. Um, as well as if you can't lift your leg, you're having your foot's not able to pick up. 
Um, those are really severe cases, may not need surgery, but you do need to go get that looked at. And so those, those are some cases where, you know, they have in the back of the mind of, you know, back injuries. Now, most back pain, 90% of people are gonna have back pain. Most back pain is very, very easy to fix. And in the case of Will, you know, he may have a disc issue, but he also may have other issues too that, you know, we don't know about, he hasn't shared. Um, but it usually doesn't just happen like that unless there was something else going on before that. Um, unless he did something, you know, in the gym or outside of golf or really went after some golf balls on the range, we don't know. But that, that being said, disc injuries, they do take time to heal, about a month or two, depending on the severity, but you need to have exercises given for you to get you better and to get you back to doing the things that you wanna do. Now, what are some things that you can do to avoid having disc injuries? Well, the number one thing you can do, you need to strength train appropriately. Make sure you have enough mobility and flexibility as a golfer. In the different rotational centers that we've gone over many, many times on this channel, the neck, the shoulders, the spine, and the hips, make sure you have enough strength. Make sure that your speed matches your strength and your mobility, and make sure that you have enough power and that you monitor how much you're actually playing and practicing. Uh, all those things together are gonna really be very helpful in preventing disc injuries and back injuries in general or any injury. Specifically for the disc, first thing in the morning, avoid very ballistic movements within that first hour of waking up. Meaning we're not going very you know, quickly with the loaded, you know, we're gonna touch our toes um, we're going to swing a you know, golf club as fast as we can. It's not going to be good um, because the disc is the most, uh, you have a lot more water retention after sleep at night. In that first hour of the morning, there's a greater likelihood of you having basically a disc injury if you do something that's very ballistic. But as after that first hour, things get better. You, you're not going to have that, that, um, that risk nearly as much. So just be aware. The take home of that is don't, you know, don't go play golf within the first hour waking up. Make sure you warm up. Make sure you're, you're getting yourself ready, but don't go after, you know, some swings or anything that's very ballistic within that first hour with your spine. So the take home after, you know, talking about all these different things, back injuries are very common. Don't be afraid of them. They can be fixed. You need to go get them checked out. And you know, to prevent it from happening, go get checked out uh, by a physical therapist, you know, maybe specifically one that works with golfers. I do work specifically with golfers. You can give us a call if you wanna talk with me and kinda see about you know, what's going on with you. But you need to get you know, these mobility centers addressed. You need to make sure you have enough strength uh, for golf um, and for just daily things. And you know, don't wait to get better. Don't take time off, you know, don't, if you're in a back pain, don't rest and do nothing. You need to do something. And if you're afraid of what you can do, give me a call, give a physical therapist a call and they'll get you on the right path to get you feeling better and moving like you need to be able to for the sport that you love. Now, in the case of disc injuries, I, I, I wish uh, Will the best and that he can get back at it really quickly here, fully recovered. And take, take that, that example and understand that don't, don't, don't be afraid of disc injuries. Most people are gonna have them at some point in some way, like a bulging disc, but it's something that doesn't have to cause fear because frankly, most disc injuries don't actually cause pain. And if you want, want me to explain more on that, I'm more than happy to, but understand that you know, a back injury can be fixed. Um, you can get better. You can feel better about yourself and not feel limited and restricted. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to, love to help you out and would love to help guide you through things that you may be going through. Um, but you know, comment below, like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see in the, the coming days, weeks, and months ahead. And let's change the game.